Hi there and welcome. I'm Nadine Peart from Healthy You, Healthy Love. I'm a coach for smart, savvy women looking for sexy, united love. And today's video is going to be inspired by what everyone's talking about at the moment, the coronavirus. So right now I'm going to explore how to date in this time, how to date when the coronavirus is very much heightening and getting worse in many places. Of course, there's some countries where it's starting to drop and things are starting to normalize, but right now most places aren't. Things are ramping up. So what does this mean for you? Well, for those of you in a relationship, this video isn't really for you, because some of you are probably, as they say, making lots of jokes about making babies, and some of you are kind of pondering divorce, because being in such close proximity with someone can actually bring up a lot of issues that haven't been resolved. But my hope is those people that are in a relationship are actually seeing this time to make time for each other, to understand each other on a deeper level, to have more fun together and build intimacy. But for those of you who are single right now, or maybe you just met someone just as the coronavirus hit and you're not able to spend time with them. So how do we date? How do we find love? How do we encourage connections at this time? Well, I wanna share with you a few important points that are going to help you at this time because my belief is that this period of our lives in history is one of the most beautiful times for dating. You can actually use this landscape to find love in a really effective way. So let's start with my first tip, number one, health first. Your health and the health of others is the most important thing at this time. I know that a couple of you who are maybe a little bit more desperate or blasé might be thinking, oh, who cares? I'm just gonna go out and meet people. Now, in some situations, it will be okay for you to meet up with someone and perhaps keep that social distancing at play. Yet for most of you, you won't even be able to meet up with someone. And so health comes first. My next point is the doom will end, which I kind of just touched on. This time is only for a very short period of time. We're not all going to be housebound forever. And some people won't have as much time as they have now to date online. So I want you to see this as a fantastic time to get online. Now, for those of you who say, oh, I don't like online, I only like to meet people in real life, well, it's time to perhaps change your mindset and give dating a real go. Now, I know of people who didn't like online dating and when I encourage them to, these are clients and people from my group coaching, they have found love. You can actually very easily get clear about what you're looking for. So it's not the time for doom. It's the time for you to actually celebrate being at home more, having a little bit more time up your sleeve. Most people do, not everyone I understand and doing this dating thing in a really mindful way. Now this leads to my next point. For those of you that are super busy, like some people are legitimately, ridiculously hectic in their lives. A lot of people say that they simply don't have time. Now I know that they normally have time to watch Netflix for hours, they have time to speak to friends, they have time to maybe do something else that really doesn't add much value to their lives and yet they don't have enough time. But now, if that has been your excuse, then this is the time for you to actually date. If you're not commuting, if you've got a little bit of extra time up your sleeve, then now is the time. If you're not commuting to and from work, then you'll probably have more time to date, to have a look at some of those dating apps or websites. Also, if you're not out socially because you can't be, because events have been canceled or you know restaurants have closed or the gym is no longer um, open, then this is the time to spend some time looking online. So seize this beautiful moment to add some dating into your life when you normally wouldn't have so much time, no excuses. Next point is get really clear about what you're looking for. There are so many people that do date online or even date in real life and they aren't clear about what their heart truly yearns. They're not clear about their core values. And the way to be effective with online dating or app dating is to have clarity. This is the perfect time to screen people because you can't meet them straight away. Some people easily get hooked to people that aren't really healthy for them. However, this is the time to get crystal clear about what it is that you really, really seek in an intimate partnership. 
write it down, list the things that are non-negotiable. Now, this isn't a massive long list of, you know, what you want, the ultimate guy in every single way, which is often unrealistic. I want you to write me maybe a list of five to seven things that are non-negotiables for you that you must have with your man or future man to have a healthy, loving, connected relationship. Some of those things are kindness. Some of those things are, you know, meeting someone who's a man of his word. It could be that you're physically attracted to him. Maybe you've been in relationships before where you're not physically attracted to them. Or maybe it's the opposite for you. You often just focus on the physical and you're looking for a deeper emotional connection. So that needs to be on your list. The next point is to really be clear about what app or dating site that you're using. For example, Bumble has call options and video options. So use a service that allows you to actually video chat with someone because this is a really good way to meet someone. In my programs, I always talk about not spending too much time emailing, messaging, or communicating just by phone with someone. I don't want you to create a fantasy of who someone is before you meet them. This is really dangerous ground because what happens is, is even if the guy is gorgeous and lovely and attractive to you and kind, if you've fantasize about them and have some ideas about what they're going to look like, particularly if you've seen multiple photos of this person and you get set on one of the photos that you think is the best one or the one that you like the most and you're hoping they look like that, but maybe they look a little bit more like another photo. Sometimes we can have a feeling of a letdown when in actual fact, there's no reason to be let down. This person could still be really, really fantastic for you. So get on camera. Now, I'm not saying you necessarily want to be lying down in your pajamas in bed, but make a little bit of an effort. Do what I'm doing now and chat with someone face to face live on camera. Now, I want to give you an extra tip here. Please don't do what a good friend of mine did. They chatted to someone for many months before they met them. They actually did a number of video calls except the person was only showing their face to here. Now, not to say that the person needs to be slim and fit, but this woman was very, very overweight. And my friend is a fit, healthy guy. He values health and fitness. He was going through divorce at the time, so he had his emotional baggage. He probably was looking for attention. However, the woman was actually not representing herself properly. Her photos were of her quite slim, and yet she would, had actually put on probably about 20 kilos. So in the video chats, she was very much close up. So make sure that you have a bit of perspective. So you really get a sense of someone rather than just from here up. I know that sounds superficial, but attraction, you know, is somewhat superficial on some level. Obviously, don't go ridiculously crazy with that. You don't want someone to feel like you're, you know, forcing them to show their body. That's not what I'm saying here. Represent yourself accurately and correctly or authentically so that people do know what they're dealing with so you can properly get that energy, that sense of someone through the video. Next point is about not rushing into love. This period of time during the coronavirus is amazing for those people who normally rush into love. They find it so easy to get invested in someone so quickly before they've actually gotten to know them. They have no idea whether the person is actually a compatible match and yet they think that they're it and it often ends up in tears. Also, some people rush into things physically, and this is the perfect time for someone like that to actually take their time getting to know someone by taking the physical out of it, the sexual out of it. And of course, you know, people can get, you know, sexual in video and in text messages, but my encouragement to you is that you want to find love, not just someone for a good time. So most of the people that watch my videos and come to me for coaching or group coaching or buy my programs, they don't want a good time guy. They're not looking for casual affairs. They're looking for the real deal, deep, intimate, compatible, mindful partnership. And so if you want that, take your time. You can still be playful and flirty and sensual without leading with a highly sexual energy. And actually something to help you with that, I have a free gift, it's fantastic, called Flirting for Love or Fun. It teaches you the different types of flirting that are out there and what kind of people we attract with different types of flirting and how to attract the most amazing man for you 
that allows you to have the kind of relationship you want. So check out that gift. The link is right below in the description. So basically the message here is see the magic in taking your time. See the magic in getting to know someone on an emotional level. When we're in a heightened state of emotion, when life feels a little shaky, which is what's happened during this time of the coronavirus, people tend to be a bit more heart connected, particularly when they get past the fear, but vulnerability allows connection to take place. I mean, anyone will say that to have a healthy relationship, you need to be vulnerable. And so because people kind of operating from a slightly different frequency at the moment, this frequency allows people to be more compassionate, to give people more time, to really feel into people and be there for them and to support them. And so this is why dating and communicating with some new people via the digital platform is really beautiful because you're able to connect on that deeper level, on that vulnerable level. So rather than seeing this as a scary time of doom and gloom, see it as a time of opportunity, of a time to change your approach to dating perhaps, possibly a time to really get clear about what you really value in your life and when it comes to love. Really focus on the stuff that actually makes your heart sing and it brings you joy. So that's it for today's video. It's been an honor to share my thoughts with you today. Please share this with a friend who you know could be stuck at home, not knowing how to navigate the dating world at this time. Please also comment right below. I'd love to hear about you and your experience at this time. Also, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification button so that you get notified of my next hot topic. It's been an honor. I appreciate you and I look forward to seeing you very soon.